Hey, my fellow YouTuber, this is Cuddles and Crafting. Um, sorry, I've been off the grid for a while. Um, I haven't for the last couple of days uh, been filming, um, just relaxing, doing me, doing a lot of meditation and stuff. But hi, guys. Uh, so I like I promised um, in the last few videos i was going to show you how i kit up my diamond paintings but well, this is three of them that i have i have this big purple black kit that i got from amazon i paid like 34 dollars for this beautiful kit handle purple zipper but i'm gonna show you that we're gonna go from there i'm gonna show you this one last okay but just like at Amazon or Diamond Art Club, they have these little kit ones that's clear. And I put my peacock sticker because this is where it, the next um, I have before I, I even like start anything. I like to have all my diamond paintings kitted up. If not kitted up, I can always take these out and use it. But this is for my peacock one. And as you see here inside... It, it just has these little flaps here and it opens up and inside I have number from 1 to, to 20. It's from 1 to 20 but the reason why I have two number 8s and two number 9s is because I have the extra ones and I just put... Um, extra drills so like number eight is here but I put eight another number eight here so I know there's these go together so if the, I'm run out of this one I have this one so it's like double numbered on here but as you can see um it's number from one to twenty and you can see on the other side how those colors look and I'm gonna turn on my Right, right so you can see better but this is the back of it and it comes with twenty eight containers little lock containers and on here they open this way so that if these are attached together and it has these little I don't want to open it and spill it, but when I put it in here, you could. It has a little thing up here. It opens. Let me do this one. They open individually. Like this one. Yeah, this one. So they open. They do open up individually. It's just kind of hard to do with this with money, but they do open up. Let me see if I can do it. Put one hand. Uh, okay, let me do it. So it's kind of hard to do it one hand, but as you see, sorry, I had these in my mouth, but it opens it up individually and it holds about that much of the diamonds. This is why you, if you have a, like a whole bunch of bags, you might, if you have a small kit, it's okay to do it with this one. But if you have a bigger kit, you want to go. And you have, and this is just, this is okay if you have like, like small numbers, if it's from 21 or 13 numbers, colors in your thing, then this container is okay. So, this one is my Soul Keeper. I haven't did this one yet. Um, I kitted it up when I first got the diamond paint. This is my Terrier. I got this at Harbor Freights for $4.99. Um, this one right here is kitted up. Now, this one holds... I could say maybe, hmm, uh, I say like 36, maybe like 60, maybe 60, 60 of here.
See how many three of these little, they look like little Tic Tacs, little 73 dot holes in here. But they look like these little Tic Tac things and they open up like this, like a Tic Tac. This holes maybe like a bag and a half, no, just one bag. And sometimes like, cause I have so many 310s, um, I started from number one and then I just put these, um, I didn't number them, but I know this is number one. But I didn't number them, I just did them by the DMC codes. So I know which one is which. But as you can see, how shiny that number five, the 310s is. The 310 is the DMC code of it. But um, this is the colors. And then you could label them, put them in the site here, and then... This is another kit, so I stopped right here because it says Soul Keeper on there. After a while, I'll stop on there, but um, it opens up like this on the side. And this is what it looks like on the back of it. You can see. So this is the back of it, but I haven't started this kit. Yeah, and this is the one from Diamond Africa. They don't have this no more. I don't think so. No, they don't have it. They have new ones now. New artists coming in. This one right here. Let me see if it's the back of it. Or the... Which one is this one? Okay, yeah. It's the, it's the top. Okay. This one right here is like for my big, gigantic kids now. Like for my... You get this thing going like this. Okay, so this one I have set up. This one has sixty-three jars. Now this one, um, it comes with the little bolt, the bag. It came with all these pins. Came with all the stuff that was in it. Um, it came with um, extra bags. It, it didn't come with scissors. It came with the funnel. You have this little pop up, cute little funnel that goes in there but I'm using it and it came with this white boat now you could buy a square boat and this boat has pins that comes with your kit and they give you different pins and these are the little pins you normally get with your kit with this kit and it has little clear multi placers that curves and I think this is a I can't see if it's a three or six placer don't say which one it is and it has a little little tip at the end of it that has a little hole inside of it you could place your pen here when you're done diamond painting. You could put this little pen here. But since I have my little diamonds on the side, I can't do it. But you could just rest it. I just rest it like that. But this kit came with this bolt. And then every kit that you get from a diamond company comes with these little green bolts. These little small ones. Um, It comes with these little small ones. But this came with it. It came with the bolt. It came with some extra baggies. And, excuse me, got hiccups. It came with these labels. And the labels that you could put on here for if you have like extra stuff like this, you could put the labels on here. But I didn't use the labels. What I did, put this back in here. Oh, also, you get tweezers. You get eat from the pages. Okay, this is like a scraper to, to this is like one of those little 
scrapers that you could use to um, say like if you have bubbles in your um, kit or anything in the paper it, it could smooth out your kit um, that comes in there uh, most Um, sometimes you get these little cheap plastic tweezers to go with your kit. Um, I know Diamond Art Club, I know only the squares come with those little sharp ones. And I don't think I have any sharp ones in here. And if you can see on these multi um, yeah, it comes with the little metal, the real good ones. They have the little pointy edges. You want to be careful with those um, if you get a di from Diamond Art Club. Because um, only their square ones come with that. But mostly with this kit, you get little tweezers. They're okay, but kind of flimsy. Um, this one here, I have different placers. So I have a three placer. This one is a, yeah, I think it's a three place four. Four. Three placer. I can't really see what that number is on there. Can't see. I can't see what that number is on there. I think that's a three placer. This one is like a ten placer. And then also you could just use the one here. But it comes with all this. I put everything back. It comes with all this kit. The bolt. And then it has a little pocket where you can put everything in. And I like to keep all my little stuff in there. So when I'm ready to start my kit. And I did start this kit already. And then what I did. Let me put this back up. My other. Because I'm working on my same big one. I started on it, but this is um, Cottage by the Lake. And as I was showing you underneath my pink one, uh, Cottage by the Lake is a square. So sometimes you might have round ones. And you can see those little round little squares you see that that's the flat part these are round and then these little ones are square so this is telling you this is a square type of kit wonder what's the difference rounds are easy they're faster squares you're gonna have to straighten them up um a lot so i numbered this from um, from one because this is these are my um, special drills that we have with the little clear coat on it. See that little clear coat, real shiny, has a little shiny on the effect of it. These are it's called um, it's a special coating, a special called uh, Royal Royal Alice um, with that special coating. See how it's shiny like that when the light hits it. It has that little special coating on it um, that helps all the other ones when you put it through the canvas on here like where it's like yellow where the water is it gives all the other colors that's on here it brightens up there and help them to shine as well so these two special drills go throughout the whole entire kit that I have here but these are some of the ways that I kit up my thing. I like this one because so, you can store it, close it up, put everything away. I don't know my stuff is straightening up, but I was going to work on it, but I really had to get that one, my pain, the big pain done. So, so this could go in here. You close it up, zip it up, and you're ready to go. But these are ways that I was kidding up when I first started I was doing these little small ones and then I went to Harvard Freight and they had these and these are they have no they have another no you know let me take that back these didn't come from Harvard Freight there's another one that came from Harbor Freak, and they, they're big square ones. They're much bigger, and I don't have those, but I will show you those later. But this one um, I got from Amazon. Sorry, I take that back. My bad. This one came from Amazon. These came from um, 
99 cent store. You can get these at the 99 cent store, but you can get them at Harper or, or Amazon too. But the 99 cent store had these when I couldn't find anything and I didn't know when I first started. 99 cent store had these for a dollar. Um, these came from Amazon. Um, I think I spent like $16 on this thing. I think these were 16 so I think this was 16 it wasn't that much but I got one of these because I wanted to get this and then this was like 37 for this big old kit now I don't know how much they are now but I start seeing a lot of people get this one and I end up getting it and I like this one better because you have everything in here and then I don't like I said I don't throw my kits away or my diamonds away I keep them in the kit so I have to do anything else I could just put them in a baggie oh by the way say like you um, finish with your kit here what you can do is take these out and put them in those plastic baggies that I showed you put the labels on the baggie and then store them in a hat box now if you have a huge hat box you could number your things and I'll show you that on another video but you could number um, how to number your hat boxes so like if you want to use this kit or you're done with this kit and you want to take all these out it's not what the hard part of diamond painting is kitting up your kit it's the process it's a cutting process it's labeling cutting labeling and then labeling all these little things on here it's a process not to scare you, not to keep you from diamond painting, but it is a process. I like doing it because it, especially if I get a kit in while I'm working on another kit, what I'll do, I'll, I know if I'm going to work on a kit, I like to have all my kits, all my DPs all kitted up before I work on them. So I don't have to waste the time of diamond painting. So all my kits, except for a few, and you can see my kits are back here in my little bags kit. All my kits are um, kitted up so I don't have to do any kit, any kitting while I'm getting ready. Secondly, I'm going to show you my pins. There's, when I showed you the pink pins that came with your kit, and every diamond pin, you're going to get the green bolt, the, the pink pins. Sometimes with diamond painting, you get with diamond paint, with the diamond art club, you get these blue pins with the little squishy things at the end. And you, this one is a, I believe a seven placer. This is a seven placer. It has a number seven on it. I don't know if you can see that seven because it might be too bright. But it's a seven on that part of the pen. I'm sorry, my hands are ashy, washing dishes. But it has a little gold tip sometimes you get the blue one sometimes you get the um yellow one um on my hold on because i'm sitting here hitting my um don't make sure my pen don't fall i think it did i think i dropped my pen okay so diamond art club i had some pins and these were $14.99 from Diamond Art Club. Really nice blue colored. This is a 10 placer. This is a 10 placer because I showed you the 7 placer and it has a gold tip and I have a wax in it. This is the one I'm using right now. Love this pen. Um, has that really nice shiny coating on it. This is one of the pens I use and it comes in this Velcro like bag to keep your diamond paintings in that go in there um i have another one in there so i showed you the blue pin that you get with your diamond art club um some of the kids that you get might have blue they might have pink some of them might have squishy some of them no just letting you know um this one these right here these light up you get these from amazon like four four dollars and the top came off this is like little owls but this is the one that we I was using the most. The top came off. Put this top back on. If I can. Okay, yeah, I got it. Got it back on. So this is mostly like for kids, but if you're in the dark or something and you can't see where you're working at, it's a light at the end of it. 
it helps you to see where you at so you can see that light so it helps you to diamond paint if you're like in the dark no you don't want to do it in the dark but if you see like you can't see like what letter you're working on and you, and you can't really tell this to help you to see what letter you're working on this one I converted it was a pen I can and it looked like the little mermaid tail this one I converted into a drill pen as you can see I was using my thing uh, I cut the top part of it and then I just put the tip in so I converted this one into a drill pen because I want I didn't want to be lazy and not buy one so I had the pen already from the and these I got from the dollar store this one is a special pen that when you want to do your it's a special pen and when you want to do diamond painting or do special drills on your shoes to design your shoe I got this one this was 16 and it came with gel glue and some rhinestones this is when you want to put rhinestones onto your shoe to design your shoe uh, like I was showing you about when you get Diamond Art Club, you get those really sharp um, tweezers. These are the tweezers. You want to be careful and not have your kids with the tweezers with these because they're very short and they do poke and they, they hurt. So I didn't poke myself so many times on this one. So you want to be careful with these tweezers. And they have a little plastic thing that you could put onto the tip. So make sure you put these away for your children. Um... I have other tweezers in here, like I said, um, the same plastic tweezers I was getting from the kit. I had a lot of squares, so you get these good metal square ones. I got some of these, a whole bunch of these. Some other tweezers with the curve. Um, now you want to know what these are. These are pins. When you twist the top, you see that little tip? that came out that is your drill pin it's a drill pin you get I got all these colors right here you get all these little different colors all these colors here you get with came all together so you get different color ones you might want to be working with polka dots you might want to work with the orange one I want to feel like I'm pink Ooh, I made you in a black mood whatever mood that you're in you could just switch up on your pin and they all twist and when you put it back in, they twist out, do it again, they twist in. And all I'm doing is twisting this back and forth. Twist out. And it has a little tip. My, this one has the pink wax in it because I was using it a lot. Um, these ones right here is a special good one. This is a unicorn. I have the husky one. Got this from Amazon. I think these were like 16. Special wax then if you're just going to do individually. Um, it don't have no thing, but it's if you want a nice grip, it's a really nice grip to hold on to. I got this one, and this is by Sky Roar. Um, and I got this for fourteen ninety nine at Amazon. I got no, I got this one for me, and my husband has the husky one. So this is my pin, and I store all my pins and everything into this little container. And voila. So this is how I kit up um, easy. I like to have it easy, simple, um, where I don't have to work too hard to do anything. I do have a storage bin. I have to clean it out. But um, pretty much I keep all my things close to me as possible as I can. Um, I still gotta go in there and I just put it right here so when I want to work on oh, when I work on my diamond painting now like I was showing you I'm working on circles okay I I've been working on this today a little bit today just working on these little ones here and these are those little big old arrows that I've been working on so I'm working on this today you see how that's really shiny when the light hits it it has that shine effect yeah now this one right here is the squares and that's what I was telling you from the circles it's real quick and easy 
If you notice, I have some Cricut areas on here. And I'm going to pull this plastic so the light won't reflect on it. See how that is? It's shiny. Then I'm now leave the square. I have some that I need to straighten up though. So you can see a couple right there are straightened up. I'm just going to take my tweezers. Those metal tweezers that I showed you with the sharp edges, it helps me to straighten up because you don't want to drag your um, your squares across your wax so that it take the wax off. But you, you use your tweezers to straighten out your drills. So these are very, very small drills. Okay. So... I started, like I told you, I started on a college bond lake. This is a square drill type one. And then this one here is a circle. You can see the difference. So in a circle, it has little gaps in it. And then if you notice, the picture has like a shiny coating on it. Because when you look in between the, the circles, um, it doesn't cover up the whole the whole canvas and that's why they have that special clear coating in it because it's going to reflect when the light heater is going to help it reflect in between that's okay as for the square ones you see it's shiny but you see how it's closed and there's no gaps if you have it straight there's no gap you don't hardly see where I have this right here is closed in well, all the whole canvas is going to be closed in, so you won't see the back of it compared to what you see on the circles. There's gaps in between it. So, this is the difference between these two paintings. This is a square. This is a round. So, when I'm working on my kit and I pick one thing. Now, some of my kits, and I'm going to tell you. When I have my kits, um, they come like this. Some kits come like this with the blue pen. This came with the blue pen with the squishy, and it came with bag in their bags. Came came with extra bags, but it also came with the kits already in the bag. So you see, I have a number thirty-eight. This is the one I'm working on with that arrow. As you can see, it's specially coated. Now my number one on this kit is my special coating one it has a special thing so I think number one and number two but this one also has that special shiny effect when I move it so they all come different colors different ways so it already came kitted up like this so now you see how I have my stuff kitted up. I'll show you once I get the box down because I have I have so much boxes and I'll show you my storage. I'm gonna clean my storage out because I have a big Q storage that I keep all my finished drills in. So I store them in there when I'm done. So in case I do run out, one of these colors or any of these colors, even if it's square or if it's around, I could, you know, have that color. I never throw them away. Also, you could use them for if you're done with your kids. And once you do all your diamond paintings and you still have drills, you could do art with these also. You could use them for other craft things that you want to do, bottles on your water bottle or whatever. You could do it like that. But this is how I kit up my kit. That's pretty much how I do my painting. And as you see, I'm still working on this one. I still have all of this to finish. And this one in the area. All this area right here, I have to finish. So once I get this finished, it not be done. Working on those littles as much as I can. And then I gotta go back in and finish where if there's any gaps or anywhere that I miss, I just got to go in and finish it. So this one is the square one. And you can see how shiny it is. This is a diamond paint. This is from um, Diamond Art Club. And this one has 42 colors. 
compared to this one have 38 colors. So depending on the storage and how many colors your kit has, if it has 38, you might want to do like the one I showed you with the Soul Keeper. If you have one that has 42 colors, you, I use, I kit it up in the purple one. You can see the difference. And see all these little drills? These labels? All this is on, is your, and this is your, as you see, it's number from 1 to 42. It has all the symbols. So you can see it has ledgers on this side, and it has ledgers on the left side. Also, you can see what you're working on. So if I had number one, um, it is telling me, you know, this is one of my special ones. All I find is the number ones. Number ones are the ones for the special drills. If I need number two, number two is in the lake. And I will have to find all the number twos. So wherever the number twos are, I will have to find it. So, um... If I have K, I'll look for K. K is number 31. You'll see the K's here on your drill. Focus, phone, focus. Okay. Don't want to focus. Don't want to focus. Okay. Focus. Okay. There you go. Yeah. So you see that K next to that P and that 4. Yeah. So those were how, that's how you find out where to lay your drills. Okay. So. This is good. This is Cuddles and Out. I am going to get me some sleep and rest. I've been up all morning. So, thus, I promised you that I'm going to show you what kits I have. Amazon, um, Harvard Freaks. Um, Harvard Freaks has the big square ones, and I got to show you that one. And I thought I had it out, but I didn't. But I'll show you how to do that one. And then I'll show you my big box. So, that's how I kit up before I even start doing this, the big work. And the big work is putting them down. Kidding up and putting them down. That's the one. And it takes, a, it takes and take your time with your diamond painting, especially if you're gonna keep it for yourself or hang it up on your wall, then you could take all the time you need, there's no rush. Now, if you have people who want diamond paintings and they want you to get doing diamond painting and they wanna buy one from you, then you really wanna take your time because this is what I do. I don't, I keep some of my diamond paintings for me, but the rest of them, people, oh, can I have that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> that, that's what I do. See you on the next one. Sometimes you can give these for gifts too. Gifts, keep them. Some people, as soon as they see them on my wall, they want to buy them from me. And I'm like, oh my goodness, they're going to buy me another painting. And it's kind of hard because these paintings are one of a kind. And you can't get another one, so yeah, all my paintings are all gonna be leaving soon. So and then I have more over there by my wall. Yeah, still waiting to ship those out. But hope you like this um, video, and I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys.